Family learning is vital. This is part of the Learning to Thrive with Dyslexia or ADHD series. I'm reading this story for Jamie's mum. My partner Jim was assessed and diagnosed as dyslexic in his last year at secondary school. Jamie, my daughter, nine years old, was never diagnosed, although her symptoms are identical to Jim's. She hated school. I pushed for the school to recognise her dyslexia, but they always said she could not be assessed as she wasn't one of the worst in the school, and the money allocated for assessments was spent on the children who were the worst problems. She was offered extra reading one-to-one, so I found help outside of school as I felt extra reading was only going to add to her frustration and not help her with the problem. I knew my daughter was very visual and brilliant at pictures. I got an appointment with Olive. Jim and Jamie learnt how to visualise words and hold words still. The more Jim joined in, the more enthusiastic Jamie became. They also learnt to check when they were reading for the most comfortable position nearly always holding the book up and not looking down at the words to avoid negative emotions. Jim had one particularly startling response. He was looking at the book with pictures on one page and words on the opposite page. He just couldn't keep his eyes on the words when looking down. His eyes automatically crossed to the page with the pictures. But when he held the book up, he reported, there's words on the paper and started to read. Four days later, when I sent my partner and daughter off to see Olive for a coaching session, I expected them to come back with some new skills to help them improve their reading and spelling. I was not prepared to be totally amazed by the results. My partner, who is I've known for 12 years, has never read a book or willingly helped our children with homework, as he found it all too frustrating. Since his appointment, he sat at the table writing, spelling and reading with our children. He's also been teaching our six-year-old, who was starting to show signs of dyslexia too, with the skills he had learnt from Olive. I truly am blown away with how this confidence has grown, and he's motivated, encouraged and teaching our children all these new skills. Our daughter, who would protest as, as soon as we started doing spelling and reading, is now excited and can whiz through learning new words. She is even spelling them backwards. Not only has this made a difference to them both individually, and it's also improved our family life. The stress levels in the house have gone right down. Confidence has grown. There is more cooperation and some very happy people. I believe the skills taught by empowering learning are the wow a must for all schools. If my partner had been taught this information in school, his whole school life would have been completely different. He would have left school with good grades and a sense of achievement instead of being the problem kid and leaving school feeling a failure. Our daughter has been lucky to learn this at this age of nine and she will have an opportunity to succeed in school. Teaching this in schools would have made a massive impact. If children read and write, They are happier, more confident, motivated kids, and therefore teachers' jobs would be easier. Grades would go up, money savings would be made as extra staff wouldn't need to come in. I would love to see schools benefit as much as our family has. Four weeks later, I've just found that Jamie is practicing on her own when a new word comes in or with Jim. I think I can get a bit over-enthusiastic and she gets fed up with that. When I used to work with Jamie, I felt as if every day we were starting all over again from scratch. Now it feels like she's making progress each day. Her reading has become more fluent as she isn't stopping at every word. She's finding it easier and faster to sound words out too. Jim says he feels so much more relaxed now around literacy as he feels he has a tool that he can use anytime, anywhere. He's also reading with the kids more and I haven't got him asking me over and over again how to spell the same word. He is also reminding the kids to look up.
and he's been practicing with Jamie. My six-year-old is using the whiteboard very well for learning her spellings and is so pleased when she can spell the words backwards. I have learnt that I need to be more patient with them and things go better when they are working at their own pace. I told the school about Jamie and Jim seeing Olive. I also gave the school the book and the website details. My personal feeling was that they didn't seem to be interested or it could be that they were just too busy with paperwork. After three months, Jamie's progress has been slow and I found that when I backed off and concentrated on Laurie, my six-year-old daughter, Jamie saw the progress Laurie made and is now much more willing to put in the effort. Laurie can now learn seven spellings in one evening and she remembers them. For the past seven weeks, we have got full marks in every spelling test at school. Previously, she would have only learnt one per evening and would not have remembered that even that for the test. Her reading flows much better now. Jamie has gone up a reading level and has been told that she is probably be moving up another one soon. Jim is still using the techniques and his confidence continues to grow. After 10 months, life is good in our household. Jamie is working towards her sats at the moment. She's reading every day without being nagged. She's asked for books for Christmas. There is no battle with her anymore over homework and she is much more confident with her literacy work, even though it's not her favourite subject. Jim says he loves the whiteboard as he knows now that if he wants to learn a word, he speaks it to the phone, the phone spells it for him and he puts it in his imaginary whiteboard. I suppose life is a lot easier for all of us. It seems amazing now that one appointment, so much was achieved. It just set them on a path of learning that they have never realised that could be so valuable. They had to do the practice and the difference was extraordinary. That was a story first published in Bridges to Success.